Good morning, welcome to Terra at Home, and we're ending off the new year in a really cool place in Frealton. We're in Rescued and Restored. Now, we're gonna get to what this building represents in just a moment with Nick here, but we're gonna go over to Deb, and you are the Executive Director of Drummond House. Yes. And that's the focus right now we wanna pay on, play on is, is Drummond House and what you provide and your facility provides for our community. Great, mm -hmm. thank you for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Well, we provide a transition home for women and children who mm -hmm. are in the Flamborough Hamilton area. Um, it is a home that um, brings in women who are oppressed and they stay for up to three months and we have programs and different things that they can be involved in that helps with their healing process so that they can enter back into our community. Now this is something that's tied close and near and dear to your heart from yes. personal experiences. Yes. You know, so the, so it started basically in 2005, right? But, but yes. going back to your experiences, you realized when you needed it, Yes. It wasn't really here in the Flamborough area. That's right. I uh, had gone through a separation and divorce and I was looking for a place to be at. Mm -hmm. And I ended up up in the Flamborough area in a, in a home that had three apartments in it. And while I was staying in there, a couple other single moms moved into this, this home that was divided into three apartments. And I was in the backyard and I just, I had like a vision or a mm -hmm. sense that this is something that needs to happen. And I actually went as far as wanting to uh, buy the place I was renting, which I had no <laughs> funds to do. Right. So it was quite funny. But I remember keeping that, that and having that hope, talking to people about this is a dream I have. And, and also remember also saying, I can't do this right now. I have to put this on hold. Mm. And so I literally waited seven years. And then out of the blue, the Drummonds um, heard of that vision and they wanted to meet me, and they're the ones that had the big home on uh, in Flamborough, and it hadn't been used for years. And so they said, let's come and see it. Perfect. I went through it, and they said, let's do it. Wow. And so without, without Linda and Ross Drummond, um, this whole thing would not have taken place. In so let's talk about the facility itself. Um, how many rooms do you have there? So we have four bedrooms, mm -hmm. so we can take four women and up to about ten all together with the children mm -hmm. involved. It's a home-like setting, so it's not like an institution or right. a shelter. It's a, a lot different. It That's is what you need in the time of need, right? You yes. need comfort. It's not all comfort. Clinical. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we've done it up in such a way that it's beautiful. So we really have a full <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. A philosophy that um, the women going through trauma and stress deserve our best, not our worst. Right. So we have brought in, you know, in keeping with the house antiques, people have donated beautiful things to the mm -hmm. home. Nice. They they are able to get new pillows <laughs> to sleep on and new beds to sleep on, and mm -hmm. it's very homey. They eat together. The meal is eaten together and shared in a beautiful dining room. And so it is really like a community, and I'm yes. I'm sure actually it almost strengthens friendships. So. Yes. And maybe Dawn's new friendships. Yes, it does. Right? Yeah, they help one another and just mm -hmm. um, like in the program that we run now here at Rescue, uh, through, for the 3R program, mm -hmm. the women help one another as yes, they're going through it. Yes, I love this program idea. So yes. this is the thing. So, um, you know, as we, we, we come closer to talking about this facility, yes. again, I like that, again, it's not just about helping the women right then and there. No. But at, again, is that, that transitional period and That's they need right. that because now what? Yeah, right? exactly. So we want to help equip them, train them. We bring in coaching in the house. They have counseling provided. We are working on a children's program mm. to help the children go through grief and loss. So it's very hands-on, holistic. It's faith-based organization. But again, we just love whoever comes to us so that we can really help them. Help. It's really, you know, we really need to help. Our neighbors need to help our neighbors. And mm -hmm. this is an opportunity to do that, as well as it's a great opportunity for volunteerism, for mm -hmm. the kids in the community to come and, and support us in different ways and different things. So. Now that brings us to, to you know, fundraising and yeah. and I mean you were doing all of this without any government funding yeah. Now, yeah. funding is key for something yes. like this so yes. for you know up until rescued and restored existed yes you know you were just trying to raise money any way you could yes. to keep this this home alive yes we were mm -hmm. <laughs> so so we very much were um, and that was sort of the heart of what I had is to not actually depend on handouts all the time mm -hmm. and not depend on our government who's already overtaxed I believe and right. and also they cut their programs once you start them. So right. we want to be able to operate independently where we're actually supporting ourselves in some way. Mm -hmm. So we first went to our neighbors and our community and they responded enormously. When you think of the percentage of what we get from the community to run and operate every year, it's it's the community that's mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's wonderful. And then um, 
as as that went forward after the years we opened in 05 and so here we are in 2012 well you can wear out that mm -hmm. community yes and so we um, have a great board member at the time who said well we're still getting donations why don't we resell them mm -hmm. and that's how this idea began how this, and, this yes. comes to be so what I'll do is I'll move over to sure. Nick here now and Nick why don't we talk about this Grace facility so officially open and you're in an old chicken barn and wow you wouldn't know it it's beautifully lit it's brightly freshly painted and colored and, and it, it looks amazing it took some bit of work I bet <laughs> <laughs> I bet it did but uh, I mean no. we, look at the, what the way provide. we actually started it was uh, virtually from a basement mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. I, it was just amazing where furniture just kept coming in yeah. mm -hmm. and people just donated generously how do people it, donate by the way just phone me up phone and you? I'll Give take you care call and you'll take yeah. it in yeah. And now let's talk about some of the some of the pieces that you have here, what you have available for people to purchase. We have anything from clothing to books to pianos and <laughs> organs. Yes. Uh, we have some beautiful furniture. Uh, we just uh, dedicated one room just for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have anything that actually it's needed in the home. Mm -hmm. Anything from a rocking chair to a sofa mm -hmm. to anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. It's been quite successful so for, far. So from decor to knickknacks to, to board games to all kinds of things, anything that you can mm -hmm. think of, right? Yeah, that's that, correct. Yeah, that yeah, somebody that's might correct. Uh, might need. Mm -hmm. And and you know, officially open for business, you encourage yes. people to come up yes. um, and browse around. This is actually a great place for, for somebody moving into a new apartment, maybe a young student as well, getting started. Uh, couches, whatever you need, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lots, of, uh, lots of good options there. No, actually, the, uh, the students um, have a great time in here because, you I know, they, 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 they have a limited budget yeah. and they just, they yeah. just you know, they, they get yeah. everything in here, really, yeah. basically. Yeah. And it's a nice way to start. Okay, yeah. so let's, uh, um, we should probably put up uh, the Drummond House website because great. we want people to know and find out a bit of a background and, again, helping, volunteering. Yes, right? absolutely. Mm -hmm. yes. So the website is? The website is www.drummondhouse.ca. Okay. You can also make donations online mm -hmm. and you can also um, donate to uh, Rescue, and Restored, Rescue yeah. and Restored. And Rescue and Restored has its own website as well. Right, right. right. Yeah. And that website is? Rescued and Restored, I think it's dot .ca? Dot .ca, Perfect, yes. very good. We're going to put them both up on the screen anyway for everybody good. at home. And uh, again, we just encourage, it's a great relationship. Yes. It makes sense. It's yes. all up here in Frealton, yes. uh, cute little area here. Yes. And uh, nice lots and quiet. Of and lots of parking. Yeah. And a really fun spot to <laughs> yeah. be. So uh, yeah. again, I'm so proud of you guys for creating this space. And Thank for you. you, because I know you, you this was your baby. You. Yeah. And it's grown in, in all the women and children that you're helping. Thank you. Very important. And it stays so quiet sometimes in our community. Yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, we're out there it's now and it's the community has really been a blessing and we really appreciate this opportunity yeah. especially Tara giving mm -hmm. us this opportunity Absolutely. to to All let right. the community know. So. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you Nick thank and good you luck with you. everything here. Thank you. Yeah. The good old chicken coop and now look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you come up. That's yeah. it for now. We'll be back with more. Live color fully at Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, Look for trees and shrubs with the Medallion Plant Tag. Medallion Plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Welcome back to Tara at Home and back at the LCBO with Jillian Love. As we promised a, a couple of weeks ago when we were here celebrating Christmas, now just days away from New Year's and uh, some good tips for people. Again, uh, a lot of people, you know, just celebrating even at home. So it's just nice to either bring as a gift or to toast the New Year. Yeah, Leslie, and with sparkling wine and champagne, people get kind of scared about it because they yeah. think that it's just for celebrations. And of course, with, we're going coming up to New Year and of course you're going to buy some sparkling wine for New Year, but mm -hmm. it's um, it's a great food wine as well. It is. It really is good with salty foods or oilier foods because it just cleans your palate. Mm -hmm. And it's a great intro 
to, um, you know, if you're having guests come and they're, you know, having appetizers before your, your meal. Yes. It cleans off their palate, prepares them for the meal coming up. I just, I love... Uh, I'm a big sparkling fan. I, that's one thing, when I when I go out, that's what I order. That's my, almost my cocktail type yeah, of thing. Yeah, and it's I like, clean and yeah. refreshing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, the bubbles can be large, they can be small, they can dissipate quickly or they can hold on, depending on the quality level of the sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you're getting a champagne, it's, it's it's made a specific way using a traditional method where the second fermentation occurs in the bottle. So the bubbles are very small and they, they just keep lingering on and on and on. Right. It's a very good quality. There's a big explosion of mousse in your mouth when you're, mm -hmm. when you're yes. having a champagne. Whereas a sparkling wine such as a Prosecco or you know just a, a Spanish Cava, something mm -hmm. like that, it's a, a little bit different method of production so the bubbles are larger and they dissipate a little quick more quickly but so that's one thing so people will be looking at these bottles and and some people will just you know just blindly say oh they're champagne but not everything is champagne no, no people um, have the perception that everything is champagne and in fact mm -hmm. champagne is a region in France right. it's a region in Burgundy and uh, everything else is merely sparkling wine yeah. uh, but champagne is a sparkling wine right so, so there you go so it's like <laughs> you gotta remember a those little rules. confusing but but yeah again as you say and and very, the great part about it is, is the variation in pricing, price points. So you can go from a really reasonable bottle that still tastes fantastic to something crazy outrageous. We <laughs> have sparkling wine at six ninety five a bottle, and we have sparkling wine at two hundred and forty dollars a bottle, yeah. even more. So mm -hmm. it, it, there is a huge wide spectrum of prices mm -hmm. in sparkling wine. Yeah. And some of the bottles are just gorgeous. We can see the presentation, I meaning from the blue bottle over there mm -hmm. to the pink. I, I mean, it's... And and, the, and this type of, like this time of year, we always have these really nice decorative bottles coming out because you're bringing them over to people's places. Mm -hmm. And this Prosecco specifically um, just flies off our shelf. We don't have too many yeah. left, but uh, mm -hmm. it, it's a beautiful bottle and you can use it afterwards. Yeah, for perfect. Something. It's a great, it's a great gift idea. Actually, right. no, you're telling me about this. Let's talk about this guy. Yeah, this is the riddle. Um, this is a sparkling wine from Niagara. It's from mm -hmm. Flat Rock Cellars, mm -hmm. and. The nice thing about this, or the most interesting thing about this, is there's like beer cap. Yeah, like so. So at that. that's the closure on it, and people will go. I, and a lot of customers <laughs> come in and say, "Well, that's where's the romance of the cork here?" Right. Um, but Veuve Clicquot or Veuve Clicquot and Dom Perignon both age their their champagne with a beer cap. So there you go. Because the beer cap has to come off before the next part of the production, because they have to top it up with a, a dosage after, okay. during the second fermentation. So really, this beer cap, it just opens with like a, a beer opener like um, and it's one. good closure because it will not uh, cork like there won't be any cork taint in the bottle it's good for long-term aging very, clean. Um, very modern very unique yeah, in a I great cool. winery I love uh, that they give the little uh, the beer the little cap opener there too so that's, yeah. kind of a, that's a neat idea yeah okay, I love that cool. one. again local so yeah it's always nice right okay so we've uh, we were looking at some of the bottles and how beautiful they are and I, I still this for, for some reason I think is just gorgeous, it's a stunning bottle. bottle it's a pewter base bottle it's and it's funny. just such a beautiful looking bottle yeah. to bring to someone's house or to have in your own house. I love it. Um, we, we, it's very popular. Mm -hmm. very I popular. can imagine. It just looks nice and it looks and like it's a spend Spanish a wine, <laughs> right? Spanish Cava, so mm -hmm. a really clean, nice, nice mm -hmm. uh, uh, flavor profile. Well, obviously, as we know, um, you, you can obviously have all these by on their own, but there's that, uh, again, influx of cocktails. So you can mix all of these in, in with other types of uh, Beautiful alcohols. That Sparkling creates. wines are great in any kind of liqueur or cocktail. Um, like for instance, we use the Hypnotique, which is mm. a cognac-based uh, so fruit li liqueur. It's like passion fruit, right? It's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, really nice. And <laughs> it makes a nice color. So we call that the icicle cocktail. Mm -hmm. And then beside it is um, a Cure Royale with uh, an ounce of Chambord and top with sparkling wine. So and that again, that's so festive and so pretty. And that's actually mm -hmm. a, that would be beautiful, um, you know, on, on a New Year's, even as you say, even at the beginning of the night. Yeah, and or with a dessert. Or dessert. Or which toasting. is great because the Chambord is beautiful. Right, and um, bringing in the New Year. You know, so mm -hmm. that's, and you say, I remember before you told me you can pour that over ice cream too. You can. <laughs> you can do a lot with liqueurs. A lot. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> All right, so then you get into the little guys too, right? Yeah, and that's for a couple, you know, maybe you're an older couple or something and mm. you're not into drinking a whole lot and having... <laughs> 
But I mean, pop open a, a little piccolo on New yeah, Year's Eve, so and it's a, just a glass each for yeah. a little toast, and yeah. it's kind of nice. You don't have to pay up, you know, yeah. for a big full bottle that you're gonna waste. Well, my brother, I remember my brother was proposing uh, to his wife. I was trying to set it all up for him because it took him a long time to do it, <laughs> and uh, I hooked him up with a couple of those little ones. My brother doesn't even drink, but that was it was such a perfect it's little a thing to perfect. have just to toast the night as he just proposed. a little sip and a little toast. Yeah, yeah. those so are it's great. It's nice for it's nice for people. And uh, again, we were talking again about gift ideas. Uh, again, this time of year. You know, whether it's for a special couple, um, even this is perfect for a wedding, whatever maybe. Even a lot of people getting married on New Year's. A lot of people get married New Year's Eve. This is a mm -hmm. perfect uh, wedding gift uh, to it's buy great. for someone. And it's a real champagne from France. Oh. It's a very reputable house. Mm -hmm. It has a beautiful, it comes with beautiful hand-painted glasses. That's gorgeous. Um, and a beautiful package. So, yeah, yeah. If, you know, it's a beautiful wedding gift. Yeah. It's just, it's it's something, again, to be said, when you're, when you're looking at, uh, again, as you say, the fear that people have with, uh, sometimes when they're looking at sparkling wines and champagnes that they're just they're just not they're worried I think one thing we should talk a little bit about is um, the sweetness sometimes people are worried people think that they get massive migraines from sparkling wines right so where does that come from well the 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 headache comes from the flavonoids that come off the grape skins and actually most sparkling wines have red wine grapes in it mm -hmm. in the production method so a lot of it too Leslie is the sweetness there's the amount of sugar um, and you can see on the bottles we do have tags in the LCBO that will tell you the sugar content it'll say off dry right. dry extra dry Dry. Now we've changed our labeling a little bit, so it makes it easier for people to understand. Okay. But those headaches will come if it's you know too sweet. Sometimes okay. people have an intolerance to that sugar, and right. it and, and the bubbles itself is what give you the headache because it hits you very oh, fast. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, the, yeah, the carbonation will ask, right? I mean, yeah. they're not sure why, but they have. Uh, and certain people I've just heard from other people there's this association it's with called, it. It goes to my head, the, right? Like the Rod go. Stewart song. There you go. See. See? <laughs> We learn something every day here. So again, we should put, uh, of course, the website that most people know, lcbo.com, but again, good information, good cocktail ideas on right. there. Uh, of course, you guys have classes that run all throughout yeah. the season. So it We start up again in January with a full venue of uh, cooking classes, wine appreciation classes, tutored tasting, so any ed the mm -hmm. education here is great, too. Yeah, and it's just good. And again, always, uh, again, we talk about the responsibility of that you have as a host at a party to make sure that, uh, you know... New Year's Eve, be yeah, definitely <coughs> be a responsible host make sure your guests have enough food make sure you have enough food, food there yes. very important and if you if your guests are driving have a mocktail or a mm -hmm. non-alcoholic drink or lots of water on hand Lo not just water but lots of interesting fruit yeah, punches so and they can drinks have fun and, too yeah they need to have fun well, thank you Jillian yeah, happy, happy new year to you happy new year it's always fun working with you all right we'll be back with more terror at home Come and explore the new Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, Look for trees and shrubs with the Medallion Plant Tag. Medallion Plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. AM 900 CHML is giving you more news when you want it most. Non-stop news, weekday mornings 5 till 9, weekday afternoons 3 to 6, with weather and traffic on the 9s. Hear about it first from AM 900 CHML, Hamilton's news talk leader. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Tara at Home. We're in the kitchen right now with Chef Rachel, <laughs> and uh, we're kind of um, taking an interesting spin on uh, on New Year's here. Yes, <laughs> New Year's morning. Yes, I'm the morning thinking, after. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a, a breakfast brunch kind of idea mm -hmm. um, that you can do that'll be you know very tasty if you have guests over. I think it's a nice uh, a nice presented dish, mm -hmm. um, and so it's called a croque madame. Croque madame. Okay, so it's a Not version. A croque monsieur. Yes. <laughs> So it's a female version of that, and so there's something a little different 
Uh, okay. But basically the same kind of ingredients, um, Swiss cheese and black forest ham. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start off by making a little sauce for it. Okay. So it's quite decadent. It's very decadent. Okay, so starting <laughs> off with a little bit of butter, a couple <laughs> tablespoons. A little bit of butter. Four tablespoons to be exact. <laughs> So we have some butter in here melting just on low. Mm -hmm. and we're going to slowly whisk in some flour. Okay. Okay. So just a little bit at a time. You want to make sure you get all the lumps out. Keep it on low heat. So we're making a roux here, basically. Right. It's the first steps of a, of a sauce. Like, how is this going to be part of my sandwich? But it yes. is a great part of that sandwich. Oh, yes. You <laughs> just wait and see. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's not a sandwich that takes very long. Um, you know, if you have all the ingredients in your fridge, which probably most people have all this stuff anyways. Sure. Um, it's, a, it's a nice fancy, fancy lunch. It is. This is a great kind of sandwich too. Again, if you're looking aside from, I mean, you're really serving at any time of the day, but this would be great with a side salad just to break up the richness of the sandwich. Mm -hmm. It would just be nice, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, so you can see that that's kind of getting thick there, mm -hmm. right? So we'll keep that going and we'll slowly add in uh, this milk. So I'm using homogenized milk, 3.25%. Um, That's the way the French do it, right? They go whole, like yeah, real butter, real full fat cheese, full fat milk, just go for it, right? Yeah. Because that's really what's gonna give you the full flavor and all this stuff. Okay, so you just wanna add a little bit of this at a time and whisk it into this flour mixture. And you just wanna make sure that you're keeping the mixture smooth. And this is really the most labor intensive part of the whole sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. This is just, you just want to make sure that you're making this correctly. Yes, and this can be done ahead of time too because you sure. want it to cool. So okay. keep slowly whisking in the milk. And, um, you know, as you can see, after each addition, it kind of thickens it up. You want to smooth it out with your whisk, right? Mm -hmm. And then continue on. So this is the last little bit here. Just make sure again that it's on low heat. Okay, so once all the milk's incorporated, Turn it up a little bit and just bring it to a boil. Okay. And that will help it kind of reach its, you know, maximum thickness right. that you want. Okay. So we'll leave that for just a moment. Okay. In the meantime, let me just get rid of this here. We have some Swiss cheese. So, you know, any kind of Swiss cheese. I find that if it's already shredded, you'll have an easier time melting it in the pot. Mm-hmm. Let sure, me just that, check on this again. Okay, so Gruyere is a is a nice kind yes. to use. That's my suggestion. Good okay. flavor. All right, so at this time we'll just add this cheese in. Okay. Now, I have about a cup total, but you don't want to add all of it in right now. Maybe just half <laughs> of it, because we're going to use the other half on top. I said it was a rich sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Decadent, all those words. Okay. So just whisk that in. Now we can turn it down to low. Add a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard. We're gonna use this on the bread later, but mm -hmm. for now we'll just whisk a little bit into the sauce. Okay, see how it's nice and thick yes. now? Yeah, so that's awesome. Okay, oh, that, that looks, looks really good. Okay. So that can come off, your sauce is done. Kay. I have prepared some ahead of time, so right. I'll just we have that handy. bring that over. Right, mm -hmm. so I mean, it looks exactly the same. It's just a so even as it cools, it's cool keeping now. that nice consistency. Yeah. Okay. So yes. you don't have so to. So you can that do that ahead of time. Okay. So I'll move this out of the way, and I'll bring the bread on over. Okay. So a couple pieces of your favorite bread. I like a nice thick white bread for mm -hmm. this. Works the best. Uh, and I've already put this in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes or so. Just okay. to get it slightly toasted. Okay. okay. It's going to go back in, but you want it to be... Um, Just have a little be... bit of a head start. Yeah. Okay. So we go on to assemble. So I'll do a little bit of mustard on each bottom. Okay. Dijon mustard, I like. Mm -hmm. Dijon's amazing how it, it's great for everything. You can add it in mm. everything, every dressing, every sauce, <laughs> every... <laughs> and of course, on the sandwiches. Of course. So, Dijon mustard. Okay. Goes really well with ham. Yes. Nice, okay. Uh, now at this time, some ham. So, as much as you like, I probably put about two or three slices on each. I want it to be nice and <laughs> thick. Yeah, especially when you've got a, a sauce going with this, right? Mm -hmm. So you might as well, I'm gonna be able to taste that ham. Yeah, so about three slices on each and then we'll put a little bit of the sauce on top. Okay, one more. 
I'm really excited about this. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Some of our sauce. Can you believe that? <laughs> so just spread that on top of the ham. It's gonna be delicious. It's unbelievable. Okay. Now, there's a twist to this sandwich. We're not gonna tell you yet. <laughs> no, we'll tell you later, but. Tell you later. This is the start of it. Yes. So, ham, sauce, then we'll go ahead and put uh, the top of the sandwich on. And this is where it gets good. Mm -hmm. More sauce. More sauce. Because we made the sauce, let's just put more on. <laughs> yeah, so I would just spread it, you know, you don't want it to be too messy, but right. spread it over the over oh the whole goodness. top of the bread. And then we'll finish it off with a little bit of uh, shredded cheese. <laughs> More See, I've cheese. never actually seen one of these made, so <laughs> it's it's really kind of interesting. You know, a lot of times once you've you've had something before and then you see it being made, and you're like, yeah. oh goodness, well that's what that, that is. is. Oh, I see what was inside of there. <laughs> so I have the broiler preheating right now, mm -hmm. um, and so we'll just put these under for a couple minutes, just to you know get it all hot, get everything hot, get the cheese melted, okay, maybe and a little bit of color. What we'll do is we'll put that in the oven. We'll do what, you know, we'll do what uh, Chef Rachel's suggesting and then we're gonna come back and uh, add the uh, piece of resistance, which yes. was what makes it a croque madame. Madame. Right? Yes. We'll be right back. Live color fully at Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the medallion plant tag. Medallion plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Welcome back to Terra at Home, back in the kitchen with Chef Rachel, and we're making the uh, sandwich of all sandwiches. And mm -hmm. uh, so when we first, uh, when we last left you, um, we had just uh, added that little sprinkle of cheese and yes. put them in the oven yes. to get nice and toasty and under melted. The and, yes, yeah. under the broiler. And they don't take very long, okay. you know, five minutes. <laughs> keep, keep your eye, eye on eye. them. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye. You don't want them, you know, too much darker than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we fried up a couple eggs. Eggs. Yes. Eggs. And that's the difference. That's the difference. The croque madame has eggs on top. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> a couple of fried eggs. Unbelievable. And this is why it right kind of adds a nice little um, sort of kind of breakfast side to things. Yes. But again, this is like really good, but you know, post New Year's party fun. Yeah. I think people are like, oh yeah, I kind of like, like that. And, it's, and it looks nice. It the presentation does. is nice, right? It it's does. something different. It, it looks good, and I cannot wait to there try that. That's, that's amazing. Mm. So, again, our recipe, uh, the recipe is on our website, terragreenhouses.com. And, uh, again, so the, the masculine version of this sandwich is without the egg, basically. Yeah, basically, it's, it's right. the same. I mean, there's different versions, right? But the, the ham, the Swiss mm -hmm. cheese, um, the mustard. Yes, having the that Dijon mustard in there is going to just give it some really nice, uh, nice flavors. Now, you yes. kept the egg open face, so you didn't flip the egg. Nope. Again, nope. it's part of presentation, I think, too, right? Exactly. Because it seems to, just the coloring of it. Um, exactly. But we were talking about, you know, serving this with a side salad would also be a nice brunch idea, too, uh, just mm -hmm. because it kind of breaks up the richness and the depth of this sandwich, because that is one seriously filling sandwich. Yes. Right? Yes, so. it is. Yeah, so, you know, having a little salad on the side makes you feel a little less guilty for eating something so <laughs> rich. Sure. But the eggs are good for you, you know? Yes, they are very, very good for you. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> thank you, Rachel. And thank I guess you. what we should do is at this point say Happy New Year to everybody um, as we go into uh, 2013. Yes. And uh, we wish the best of luck for everybody. And we will definitely see you in the new year. Make sure to continue to watch Terra at Home on Saturday mornings. Happy New Year, Rachel. Thank you. Happy Have New a Year. Have a good one.